Hello everyone and welcome back to some more um, gameplay footage of Samurai Warriors 5. So in the um previous so in the previous um so in some of the videos that's uploading as we speak, um we've done a we done a few more. So we've done a few more um uh, battles. So one of them being um the Battle of Shigisan Castle, where we saw um his height um Hishide Matsunuga, um, at, um, and you saw his rebellion, and you actually saw him die with his um, with his trusted um, teapot, with his trusted kettle, um, which he held very, very dear to him, and he, um, and that was a lot. And he, um, there's history reports that Nobunaga actually went inside the castle, and um, he then tried to, um, with his elite forces, of course. Um, and then he committed suicide by blowing it up or and there's other reports that he actually just committed suicide and blew himself up with his um, trusted kettle um, so that's what happened there we saw the battle of um, um, Tiritagawa um, this was um, Katsuyori Shibata's um, uh, where Nobunaga sent Katsuyori Shibata with um, Toshi Mide and he was basically um, he was basically in charge of trying to keep the God of War, Kenshin Uesugi, at war. Um, and Kenshin Uesugi, the reason why he was called the God of War is because he believed that he was a reincarnation of Bishamonten, um, who was the God of War. Um, so, um, and other people say that Ares was, and things like that, but that's again in the character. But, um, but that's what that is for. So, um, he believed that um, he was the reincarnation of Bishamonten. And, um, yeah. And he did that. So basically, that's what he was trying to do here. Um, and then um, this is where his relationship to Oichi, Nobunaga's sister, grew as well during this um, during this sort of time and this sort of period as well. Um, and then we done the battle of Ki um, it's such a long word. I hope I get this right. Of Kiz of Kijigawachi. Um, and this is um, where um, Nobunaga Oda um, employed his um, warship. Which was called the I the Iron Warship. Simple. Uh, it was called the uh, it was called the Iron Warship, and um, this is where um, he deployed that and basically crushed the um, Mori not crushed but uh, defeated the Mori army, and then that was able and that was when he was able to advance into um, Arioka Castle. But this was also the decline of um, Ham of, of Hambei. Um, Takadi, um, of, of, um, Humbai Takadada, I forgot his name, of Humbai, oh, we'll just call him Humbai, of, um, Humbai, and this is basically the decline of him, because he was working himself so hard to try and make Hideyoshi, um, Hashib's dream a reality, and things like that, and he kept, and you, and you believed in him so much, that basically, this was, um, sorry, I was just thought, it was very similar. Anyway, but um, and basically this was um the start of that where he was getting very ill um and things like that. And they also um come by Kador, um Kuroda. Uh, he um went to try and um talk to one of the clans who um betrayed Nobunaga, um and he was captured in Oroko Castle. Um, and he was um, captured there, and he was in, and he was captured, and he was imprisoned for a year there as well before um, Hideyoshi could get to him. And um, he never lost his, um, he never lost his, um, uh, he never lost his undying loyalty to Hideyoshi or anything like that. He never blamed Hideyoshi for um, for ever betraying him and things like um, and things like that. So um, yeah. So um and he uh, yeah and he never betrayed him he just um stayed with him during the end and kept um faith and that's when um and then Hideyoshi came and saved him and broke him out and um saved his life and and then he swore allegiance he swore loyalty to Hideyoshi to be his strategist ever since but this is also where Hideyoshi lost Humbai because he because Humbai worked himself to save him at the Battle of Arika Castle where. Hideyoshi um, took over, and also uh, um, Kizugawachi as well. Um, and this was basically the um, final battle for Hanbei. He he only he was only in his thirties as well when he died, so it was quite sad. Someone so young, and he was so talented as a strategist 
that um for someone so young to die is at that age is um is very very sad um and then we saw um uh the subjugation of harama where he pulled back Mitsunari Akechi and Hidi Oshi from um a um from the castle where wait from the castle where I can't say his name I have to see it first uh before I can actually say it where is he uh, nope where is he? Where is he? Huh. Huh. Hold on, guys. Sorry about this. This guy! Um, sh um, Suginya Suki Yama... Yamanaka. So he, um, went to try and take back the castle um that the amogu clan originally had because basically his dream was to um restore the um amogu clan to um how they to um how they was um yeah he, he that was his dream he wanted to um he wanted to restore it to the way uh to um to the way it was and things like that and um he done he tried he tried so many things to try and restore it but um it just didn't really work out for him, really. There you go, the revival, and he went back to um, Gassentoda Castle um, with um, from with um, Montenori Mori, and then um, on his way back, um, he got he was captured, and on his way back, he was also killed by um, Montenori Mori um, because if Nobunaga sent the if Nobunaga sent the reinforcements to save him. Then he would have. Um, then he would have. Then um, he would have survived. But Michinari and Hideyoshi wanted to go and help him, but um, the thing was, but the permission was denied. So um, because he saw the Amoku clan as basically um, nothing, he basically um, saw them as a way, a means to an end, where he can take two more castles and gain a foothold rather than go and save a clan member so it's actually quite sad really and that's um and that was um that battle and also you've also see you also see in the video as well um the decline of the friendship and the loyalty that Michinari Akechi actually has for Nobunaga and you see that because Nobunaga's heart is now basically just made of stone and his whole um objective is to um control and to take over he doesn't really have any other objectives or anything else anymore and um he basically um starts losing uh, and basically the um friction starts between them in after that battle because he knows that uh, because Michinari Akechi knows that um his friend has died and yeah he's not the best and um yeah so you see it starts seeing the friction and why you would see what happened at Honoji um and then we've done the battle of Takatin um Takatenjin Castle so this was um Montanubu Okapi his last um last battle this is where he died um and yeah uh, yeah and this is where uh, yeah and this is where he died this was his last um frontal assault well not even a frontal assault nobunaga attacked the castle and things like that and it also explains what happened with Sina, um and um um iyasu tokugawa's son so Sina, uh so to iyasu tokugawa's son um betrayed him and went to the takida for assistance to try and take over the tokugawa clan um, and then Sina in history joined here joined um, her son and then um, because of this reason they both were subsequently killed for their actions um, and um, Nobunaga mourned his son and was very very sad at the fact um, of his son dying and yeah but then he then sought out his vengeance against the Takeda because they was involved and then uh, but, um, and that's what happened at the um, at the Battle of Takintenjin Castle, where um, Montebo Okabe um, died, and because Katsuyori Takeda um, wasn't as strong as his um, as his father, he even sent for reinforcements, but Katsuyori couldn't actually send them because of how low the clan had actually become, which is um, yeah, which is actually quite sad as well. 
Um, yeah, so, um, and then we also saw the person that, um, I was most excited to actually see, um, believe it or not. Um, someone who I was very excited to see, and I've actually read quite a lot on him in history. And it was this guy, um, uh, which is, um, Yashuki. So basically, he came over... Um, basically, he came over on one of the ships from um, the Italian, Italian missionary um, Vagelino, um from the um, from the uh, from Mozambique, um, and uh, and he came over from there. And basically, he could only speak Portuguese, but um, he was a Nobunaga took a liking to for him because of um, that he looked different, um, how strong he was, and everything like that. So he was ve he was around during some of the decisive times um, of Nobunaga's career. He Nobunaga trusted him that much um, that he met all of his retainers. So he met the likes of Kitsuyori Shibata, Toshimide, um, Iyasu. He met as well. Iyasu described him as a six foot tall, as a six foot tall strong man, and um, f and um, things and things like that. So yeah, so he described him yeah as um, quite a influential character to Nobunaga Oda um, and Nobunaga Oda trusted him um, that much trusted him that much that um, he was also his sword bearer yeah he was also his sword bearer and Nobunaga actually gave him a sword as well and he was um, at the um, he was at the um, incident at Honoji where Nobunaga actually uh, where the um, where Michinari rose up and betrayed him but after that, no one really knows. Um, he was relieved by Michinari, um, by Michihide, um, by Michihide Akechi as well. But no one really knows what happened to him afterwards. There's no history recollection of what happened to him afterwards. So he could have joined. He could have um, became. He could have. Um, he could have um, gone. He could have. What is it? Become a different. Come and join another clan. Or he could have um, just lived his life in, solita in solitary and just lived out the rest of his days in peace. Um, but yeah, no one really knows what happened. So, but I'm so glad that he's actually been introduced because he's actually sub such a um, subsequent character in the um, su in the um, Japanese in Japanese history and things like that. So, it's a, so I am pleased that he's actually been introduced finally because I knew about him when I first started playing Samurai Warriors. So yeah. So I'm glad that he's actually been um, brought into the franchise as well now. And I used him as a character and he's actually really good. So um, anyway, so that's what happened then. He got introduced in that battle. Um, so the next battle we're doing is the Conquest of Kai. So this is basically going to eradicate the Takeda clan. And, um, and this is what Nobunaga wanted. He just literally wanted to just decimate the Takeda clan so they couldn't even revive. But then, as you know, um, from previous Samurai Warriors games, someone um, someone did carry on his vision, which was Matsuyuki. Excuse me, which was Matsuyuki Sanada with his son Yuki Mora and Nobu Yuki. So yeah, but he and so he wanted to continue from the Sanada name, but also had the image of um, wanting to keep the um, toku, uh, of the Takeda clan as well. So anyway, so um. We shall be playing that one, so let's have a look and get into it. Okabe Motonobu Ute, Takaten Jinjo Otosta Nobunagato Yasua, Takedake no Honkyo Garu, Kayeto Heo Smer. Ipo, Takeda Kachu Dewa, Motonobu Squenakata Katsuri no Shinkan Gatsuomari, Ketsoka Kuzuretsu Atta.勝頼は窮地に立たされながらも武田の亀を守るため新婦城に籠もり信長を迎え撃つ姿勢を見せる報酬征伐兄上の狙い通り武田勝頼は動揺が広がっているようです中心として名高き狼を見捨てたのだ武田に先がないことを誰もが思い知っただろう少し揺さぶれば、こちらに願える賞も少なくあるまい追い詰められた勝頼、どう出るか何にせよ
この戦で武田は終わりよはついに決着の時ですね So, who shall we be? Uh, so, I am going to go with Nobunaga and he's so strong. Um, Nobunaga and Ea for this battle. Um, so, yeah, so let's have a look and see. So, I was going to upgrade his sword. I keep forgetting. Look, that is just incredible. Um, yeah, so I've been meaning to upgrade the sword, but I just keep forgetting. It keeps slipping my mind. So, yeah, all going well. Uh, we call one second. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, so, here we go. So, Ieyasu is sort of, um, lacking behind in, when it comes to thing, when it comes to experience. I've sort of left him behind, so, whoops. Um, better be on the level one in there. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, here we, uh, so, right. So, we're going to upgrade him to at least... A level 20 because that's all we can do <laughs> there we go so we're great great into at least a level 20 there we go um and now we can learn and now you can have some more things so if we do speed uh skill gems good one to have gold dropped uh we've got some some skills so we'll do that as well that's quite cool uh, should we increase the musical gauge? Yeah, why not? Increase the musical gauge as well. There we go. Uh, so he can have another item now. Uh, if we give him, uh, we'll give him musical. Uh, so yeah. So um, this is our officer. He seems quite cool, old Tatamasa Dan. Um, Oh, I'm guessing they've just been upgraded now into the army, so they've just got be so they've just got better skills and things like that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah. So basically, as you can see, the Takeda clan is on the downward spiral. They're not as good, they're not as strong as what they once was, and yeah, they're just it's not looking good for them. It's looking quite bleak at this time for them. Um, anyway, so let's get into it and um, let's see what happens. So, let's get into it and let's see what happens. As you can see, he's um. Moves have changed as well now from um. Yeah, so as you can see, his uh, moves and stuff have changed now, Nobunaga, as time's gone on. I think it's because um, there was something I did where I've unlocked like, special skills um, in the skill points, and because I never had anything this. It was still his um, same sort of... Um, oh, nice. Uh, it was still his um, same sort of moveset that he had before. He's hoping someone will join his side. Oh, and someone's already betrayed him. Not looking good. Who would have thought that he would have changed side back quite Take them out. Cavalry captain. That's them taken down. We'll keep Nobunaga advancing over here. Uh, 
the attack of the cavalry. Save the attack in a bloodline. He was never able to. He tried to escape to um another castle, but um it never really worked out for him. There, Tempu Castle. There you go. Um So he never really he never really got there and he never really um was able to escape. So it's quite sad really. He just his life basically was on the retreat in the end. He never really um had anything else really to um attack with and um it's actually it's actually quite sad what actually happened to him because all of these retrainers started slowly leaving him and it was really sad what actually um happened to him in the end because he tried to be as powerful as his father but Shingun has such a name in history as being such a well thought out strategist that for him to actually try and live up to that expectation it was impossible it was physically impossible and then when Shingen died, he tried to, he had he had loads of um attempts at trying to um conquer surrounding regions to try and be the commander that um Shingen was. It just didn't work out for him. So again, really, really sad. But not my problem. We're here to attack. The brothers of. As you can see as well, he was relentless. The back, yeah. Keep it up. He's already chosen to die in the castle. He will gladly accept that old um, Nobunaga. So don't let him reach the escape point. Gotcha! No one believed that the Takeda could ever be taken down because of how strong they was as a military family. No one believed that um, they would ever crumble and ever fall. So it just goes to prove that regardless of the family, they can not they can still be taken down. So we're going to advance him over here. Let's keep attacking. Is anything the main point? There we go, keep attacking.
Keep going. Let's cut through. Where's the escape, Where's the escape point? Where's the escape point before I um, lose it? Oh! Oh, you're kidding! あ。やはり伏兵がいいと。There we go, look, there's a climb of the Takeda. Is he not opening the gate for him? Oh no! Everyone has literally abandoned poor Katsuyori. <laughs> Seeing this is actually more of a realisation of the downfall of him. It's quite sad, it really is. Right, I want him now to go to Katsuyori. You've done, you done a great job of that, my friend. He nearly died. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Let's keep going. Can I get to him? Oh, he makes everyone so in the end everyone feared Nobunaga. Like there were officers hiding now. I don't get how I couldn't get to it. It's very odd. Very odd. Um, yeah. I bet I won't get an S rank for that. だけだけが滅んだことで会は元へ死なのはするが光助にまで小滝の支配が及ぶいよいよ兄上の天下も目前私も身の引き締まる思いがいたします次は毛利を潰さねばならん俺は今日へ戻るゆえ so he, um, Nobunaga trusted Ieyasu quite a lot. As you can see, I've missed quite a lot of objectives. I feel like I've, all, I feel like I, um, I've done it too quickly. So I missed loads of objectives as well. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
武田を滅ぼし古き乱世の象徴をまた一つ壊すことができたモーリーですかモーリーは確かに未だ強大な敵ではあるがではいつ終わりますか今この乱世を乱世たらしめている最大の存在をその存在とこの俺より今や織田信長こそ乱世そのもの信長を壊してこそそしてその最後の大仕事を託せるのはただ一人信長様のおっしゃっていること<笑>であるか Because he's already so. By the, by the way, he's talking, he's already predicted the betrayal of、um, Michinari Akechi, and the only person that can take over him. It's like he wanted him to take over from him and betray him. It's weird, it's, it's crazy. Because he was such a. He, he wasn't, I think conniving,、um, conniving is the wrong word. He was just very. He just knew what was going on. The incident at Honoji. We finally come.、Um, we finally come to the main part. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this recording at half an hour and then I'm going to dedicate、um, another video just to the incident of Honoji because it's such a because it was such a subsequent battle、um, for the Sunuku era and、um, yeah, and basically what happened afterwards and things.、Um, And things like that. So, I'm going to cancel this bit here, but I will be right back. See you in a minute, guys. <laughs> 